Hello everyone. Welcome to another spiritual practice video with Evo Faith. We're doing things a little differently this month from how we have been doing them in the past. This spiritual practice video is not going to give any new content. It's going to be a meditation that's rooted in the content that was presented in the podcast on Wednesday. So if you haven't yet watched that podcast, you might want to do that now. There's a link probably just up to my upper left uh, on screen and you can just click through and watch that video and then come back to this one afterwards if you prefer to. But we're focusing on loving others through this month of June. And so this is a meditation that is about helping us to prepare our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our lives to be better lovers of those around us. So let's get started. I invite you to begin by becoming still. Deepen your breathing and just allow yourself to feel grounded in your space, wherever you are. Make sure that you're comfortable and just be present to yourself, to your space, to the earth and prepare your heart and your mind and your body for this meditation ahead. You may find it helpful to have a candle available as a focus object. And if you've got one, then I invite you to light it now and allow it to take hold of your focus and help you to center as you transition into this time of meditation. And now I invite you to place your hand on your heart and just become aware of the love within you and around you. Now take a moment to focus on what you think about, what you perceive about love. Allow your thoughts about love to surface. Try to picture love. See it as an object of some kind. Maybe a light, a color, a shape, a movement. And as you get your picture of love in your mind, feel it. Become aware of the response in your heart and body as you open your awareness to love. And then embody that, this awareness of love, this, these feelings, these thoughts, this picture of love. Let it move into your body and consciously notice how your body wants to respond. How does it want to move? How do you want to act or, or respond physically as you open yourself to love? Sit with this for a few moments and as you do, ask yourself, what are your heart, mind and body telling you about how you perceive love? Just be silent as you work with that question. And now shift your awareness. Move below the mental, emotional, and physical experience of love and be aware of what lies beneath these responses. Try to locate or name or picture the essential elements of love for you, the things that give love meaning. Perhaps you'd like to remember a moment when you felt especially loved. 
relive that experience, feel it as vividly as you can, but zoom in especially on its impact. What it told you about yourself, what it said to you about your world and your place in the world. This begins to reveal what love means to you. Spend a moment reliving that experience. And as you hear what it says to you, as you get a sense of what it says about what love means for you, ask yourself, is this meaning true? Is it what you want love to mean to you? Is there anything you would change or add or remove from this meaning making about love? And so I invite you to spend some time in silence, working with the meaning of love for you. And now once more, I invite you to shift your focus. Think about how you express and how you do love. Imagine yourself expressing love. Hold someone close to you in mind and imagine pouring your love into them. In as detailed a way as possible, see yourself doing whatever you would most naturally do to show love to this person. Try to imagine as many of the different ways you express love and let yourself feel the experience of loving. But also, try to place yourself in the other person's position and imagine how they would feel as they receive your love. What does this tell you about how you do love? What would you want to do more of? What would you want to change? Is there anything that you now see that you thought was loving, but that perhaps doesn't come across that way to others? Spend some time in silence as you enter into this experience and this meditation on how you express, how you do love. And now as we move out of this meditative space, I invite you to take one more deep breath in and release it out. Now I invite you to make some time when this video is over to journal any insights or questions, thoughts, commitments that stood out during this meditation. Ask yourself, what encourages or inspires you? What challenges you or brings discomfort? What will you commit to doing? Just reflect on those three questions as you integrate what's happened in this meditation into yourself and as you seek to respond to it. And then as we go into the rest of our week, I invite you to return each day, light your candle, take a moment to center yourself, and then reflect on what you've journaled. And as you do those reflections, add two questions that can help you to engage more deeply with what you've experienced in this meditation and what you've noted in your journal. The first question is this, how have you embodied love today? And the second question is, how have you struggled to embody love today? And you may want to make a note in answer to those two questions as you add to what's in your journal. 
May this meditation be an inspiration, a, a guide to you that helps you to become more aware of your own experience of love, your own thoughts about love, your own embodiment of love. And I hope it will help you to be more intentional in your loving of those around you. Lovers, family, friends, neighbors, strangers, and maybe even those you would consider enemies. Thanks so much for sharing this meditation with me today, and I'll see you next time.